All right, I'm at my machine. I have my regular uh, sewing machine foot on and my stitch length, which you might not be able to see, um, I've made it a little bit wider than standard. I usually use a 2.5 stitch length. Um, I like to go up to like a 2.7 or so uh, when I'm doing this because there's a lot of layers here and the elastic is funny and it just doesn't need to be any smaller than that. So I'm gonna stick this at 5 eighths of an inch and I'm gonna lower my needle, do a little bit of back stitching. I'm just stitching this right at 5 eighths to get the elastic set in place on this side. Do some back stitching. Okay. So, um, Heather at Closet Core suggests you trim this to three eighths of an inch. Um, I'm gonna uh, not do that because I and I I want to make sure that if I need to take these out later because I'm going with a smaller size than usual, I can do so. So once I've got my stitch length, I am going to flip my waistband piece around. So I can start to see what it's going to be like when this is fully encased. So, so see how it's on the right side, it's going to look like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to now partially finish this casing. So we have, if you can see, we have our stitch line right here. And we're going to, we checked earlier to make sure that our waistband was going to cover that stitch line. And that's really important because now what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over. And we're going to stitch right at this sew line. So it's invisible on this side and it catches the very bottom of the casing without actually catching the elastic. That's the real trick here. So um, you can, you can do some painting if you want. I think what I like to do is I like to feel where my casing is. And then I'll just make sure that I continue to feel an eighth of an inch of casing with my finger here and just go really nice and slow. Uh, so I find painting to be kind of a pain and not as useful as it sounds right here. So I want to switch my foot. So a stitch in the ditch foot. Um, I have one that's from, uh, that's actually a quilting foot that I love for this. So you'll have some kind of foot that has some kind of guide. And what you'll want to do is make sure that your needle is just totally lined up with the guide. And then that guide is going to be right along your seam line here. So I'm going to switch from my regular foot to my stitch in the ditch foot. I'm going to make sure my thread is back behind my needle. And I'm going to go ahead and stitch this guy down very slowly, making sure that I don't catch the elastic, but I do catch the casing in the back here. So this is definitely a point in the project that you want to just take your time. Get everything nicely lined up kind of well in advance of where your needle is. Make sure you're all set here. Okay. All right. I always like to lower my needle first, partially as a sanity check. I also to check and make sure that my stitch length is good. It's at 2.7, which is uh, a nice stitch length for this. And then I'm gonna back stitch a few times. And then stitch through here. Go a few stitches. Make sure you stay well in advance of where your needle is. Make sure I'm catching, catching here. All right, keep going. 
And I can feel the casing with my fingernail, so I know that I'm catching it. All the way across here. Make sure I'm not catching my elastic. And I'm gonna stop about four inches from the end, which I've still got a little ways to go here. Make sure I don't run over my pin for my elastic, which is going to show up a little bit after your halfway point. Just farther here. Make sure I'm all nicely lined up. All right, about four inches from the end here. Backstitch a little bit. See how we did. So we have a nice catch along here, so we're in good shape. And what we're going to do now is we're going to find that safety pin that we attached to the elastic. Here's where you find out if you <laughs> if you sewed your elastic down. If you did, you can just rip the seam out and try again. So I'm going to pull pull this over. And I'm going to sew my elastic to the other side here. Make sure I've caught my waistband. Take the safety pin off. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to my other foot. And get my 5 8 cents seam allowance in here. Okay. And I'm going to flip this over. And then you can see how we're in good shape. We have our elastic it is attached. Oh, I missed a little bit at the beginning here, which I can go back and just fix as well. So that's no big deal. Um, so I have my elastic and then this is like the most annoying part of the entire project, I think. So you're going to switch back over here. You still have to catch that casing, even though the elastic is, you know, wanting to just like bundle this all up and make it not straight. So putting my other foot back on. Gonna stretch this out. So it's nice and straight. With my thumb here, I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna catch my casing. And then draw my foot. Let me stitch in a ditch spot, drop my needle, get stretched out again. I'm stretching both directions, both behind me and in front of me, because that's going to help me get that really nice, even, um, you know, keep it nice and straight in both directions and make sure that the sewing machine can handle this. So then I'm going to go forward a little bit, hit the back button, stitch across. nicely aligned again make sure I've got it's the hardest to get the casing at the very end here because there's the just has a little more bulk to go over and then okay all right 
So I have enclosed the casing. Ta-da! So closet core, so the next thing that you're gonna do is you're going to do three stitch or two lines of stitching. Uh, so you have divided this waistband into thirds. And what that does is it really just kind of helps with fit. It gives you like, instead of like a little, little bit of like a clumpy look here, it gives you a smoother look um, when you wear the pants. So to do that, I'm gonna switch back to your regular foot. And in the same way that you're stretching both directions when you sewed the um, sewed that last bit of elastic on, you're gonna do the same thing. I always kind of eyeball it to get to a third here. I'm gonna drop my needle and give myself a couple back stitches. And then I'm going to bisection. I'm going to spread this out so it's nice and even when I'm sewing. And pull both directions. Stretch again, both directions. And I'm just eyeballing the one third, which is fine. But you could always chalk line it if you want. This is all nice and straight. There's also a couple back stitches here. And we have one of our gathers done. So you're going to do that one more time, and then you are done with the waistband. One more time right through here. And that's it. Good for you and uh, good luck and enjoy your Pietra pants. <laughs>